this is Betty. Hello. This is me, and <laughs> this is Bunny. Hello. Does Bunny have a name? Uh, it's Isla. Oh, didn't know that. And what's your name? My name's Ruby, and, this, and this is Daddy. Mm -hmm. And we're going to read a story. Of... Daniel and, and the, the Lions. Lions. Yay. <laughs> Here we go then. King Darius was the king of Babylon, but Daniel was the one who was really in charge. He was nearly as important as the king himself. The king's other helpers didn't like Daniel. He's such a goody-goody, said the first helper. Let's trick him into doing something wrong, said the second helper. The only problem was that Daniel never did anything wrong. I've got an idea, said the third helper. Listen. Here they are, the cheeky men, <laughs> trying to be mean to Daniel. <laughs> Bunny. The next day, the helpers went, in, went to the king. Your majesty, we think you should make a new law, said the first helper. No one is allowed to ask for anything unless it's from you. If they do, they must be thrown into a den. Full of terrifying, toe-munching, bottom-crunching lions. Basically, he'll be gobbled up, added the second helper. Till he's dead, said the third helper. Yes, I get it. Uh, OK, agreed King Darius. Bottom-crunching. Uh-oh. Bottom-crunching lions. I haven't heard of those before. I don't know. When Daniel went home, he knelt down at his window and prayed to God as he always did. Please, God, help me to be good. The three helpers rushed to the palace. Your Majesty, Daniel's broken your new law, they cried. King Darius was very upset. He liked Daniel a lot, but the law was not the law. I hope your God can save you, he said sadly, as Daniel was led away by the guards. Oh, no. <laughs> Poor Daniel. Dun, dun, dun! <laughs> the lions padded around the den. Their sharp teeth glinted and their great, great manes shook as they snarled. Rawr! The helpers looked on gleefully. Watch your toes, Daniel, and your... But then the guards placed a large stone over the entrance. Would you be scared, Ruby, if somebody threw you in a pit of lions? No, I think I can. I did my exercise. Oh, you'd be a bit of a ninja. Just like a ninja. <laughs> <laughs> that evening, the king was angry and fidgety. And when he finally went to bed, he could not sleep a wink. All he could think about was poor Daniel. What were the lions doing to him? There he is, the king, worrying and not sleeping. Uh-oh. What's going to happen to him? No. The next morning, the king rushed to the den. Daniel, he shouted. Are you all right? To his amazement, Daniel shouted in reply. I'm fine. God stopped the lions from hurting me. <laughs> Shock. How did they do that, Dad? Well... Maybe we'll find out. Back at the new palace, King Darius said to Daniel, Now I will make a new law. Everyone must pray to your God. Daniel was happy. Everything had come right, but not for the helpers. Take them away, King Darius Take said to the guards. Away. You know where. To the lion cave. So Daniel was protected from the lions by God because he, what did he do? He... Dead. He put him in the... No, he pr prayed. prayed, yeah. And, all... and that day, the lion didn't go hungry. Nice, nice toes. toes. <laughs> <laughs> That's quite funny. There you go. So Daniel was protected from the lions because he prayed to God. And then King Darius said, everyone must pray to your God. That's exciting. Yeah. Good. Enjoyed that story? Very good. Say <laughs> goodbye to everyone. Bye. Bye.